in, in Canada, you have either choice of new immigrant, uh, where you actually have already a very clear identity of who you are, because you're Chinese, you happen to be in Canada, and, and you're growing up here, and you're making the best you can. Uh, or you're born here, and you've never been to China, Asia, or your homeland, and then you're forced to kind of accept the fact that you are Chinese in the context of being in Canada. I think when you're talking about this idea of identity, there are two solitudes between ones that are what we call it, old world born and new world born. And for those people, it's always been a struggle. And the struggle is actually more acute if you're born here, because you have lost the language. Uh, you begin to be more Canadianized. And you have very little of that uh, old world sensibility and understanding. You're constantly being kind of, th there are points in your life that there's always attention drawn to you, that you are different. Yet, what does that mean? You know, how different are you? And I think cultural identity kind of evolves out there. And for me, it was the same because I lived in a small town most of my time when I was younger. And um, in small towns, you're picked on. You're picked on because you know, you're just different or whatever. And our family owned a Chinese cafe. And you know, most of the uh, fellow students that I go to class with, uh, after school, I'm waiting on tables. So I'm almost like a servant to some of these people. In some ways, you kind of feel the class difference and also the struggle of, of who you are in relation to everybody else around you. Back in those days, we were like during the hippie era, was in the 60s and 70s, consciousness was a very uh, prevalent word community consciousness. And consciousness means that you're either conscious or you're unconscious. If you're unconscious, you don't know what's going on. You, you just live out your life and the la la and so on. But once you're conscious, you can't go back. Once your eyes are open and you see what's around you, uh, you change because your focus change. And also um, the reason why I do things change. But a lot of people have, I, I found that a lot among Asians in the 60s and 70s, there was a lot of anger, pent up anger inside. And the anger was uh, either self-inflicted or else there were family uh, pressures, uh, certain ways of, of having to conform to a certain way in society or whatever it was. It created a certain amount of frustration and anger and it manifests itself in different ways. And in my circumstance, I decided to uh, put it to good use. <laughs> 